the 2023 Life Science Ontario Award for Community Service is awarded to a public or private sector individual who has made extraordinary contributions towards building Ontario's life science sector, going above and beyond the call of duty. This year, the award is being given to two individuals who have worked hand in hand for more than 15 years to build the life science community in Ontario and Canada as a whole. Jolion Burden and Brian Bloom were two young bankers at Dundee Securities when in 2008, they decided to form their investment banking boutique, focusing exclusively on life sciences. Together, they have built not just a successful franchise, but they have built our community. Bloom Burton hosts three important events every year, which brings the entire community together, all held in Ontario. Every spring, the Bloom Burton Healthcare Investor Conference draws the attention of Canadian, U.S., and international investors to the best opportunities in Canada. In the fall, the Bloom Burton Award Gala celebrates Canada's best and brightest in research and industry, and the year ends over a celebratory drink at the Bloom Burton Holiday Party. On a personal note, what I most admire about Brian and Jolian is that they have been with our life science community for good and for bad in high markets and in very low markets. As many of you may remember, in 2008, when they started their firm, the markets were not good at the time, and the market for Canadian life science companies was particularly anemic. But they stuck to their knitting, and more important, they stuck with the Canadian life science companies. Brian and Jolion, for your loyalty and your service, you deserve this award and all the accolades that go with it. It is my great honor and pleasure that I present you with the 2023 Life Science Ontario Award for Community Service. I must say, I'm not known for my sincerity. <laughs> but watching Cheryl, even through the accent, that was very touching. And I am thrilled to be here with Jolion and so humbled and thankful to be given the LSO Community Service Award. After all, what is the secret of life if not for a string of professional accolades and tributes? It was also quite a thrill to be awarded another award tonight that wasn't even part of the program, Best Dressed. So thank you. It's actually quite, it's a lot of fun to have walked through the cocktail party before, holding a glass of red wine and wearing a white jacket. Everyone just parts like Moses at the Red Sea. This is an ecosystem award, a bill, a, an award about building an ecosystem. And the truth is, we can't do our work without all of you. And that's what I am so grateful for. We need all of you, the scientists, the government organizations, the incubator organizations, the venture capital firms, the founders, the entrepreneurs who toil, who stretch, who go through that desert, often alone, to build your companies. And it's without them that we wouldn't be able to do our jobs. I was, I'm very thankful that we have some of our most important entrepreneurs in the history of Bloom Burton with us at our table tonight. David Allen, John London, Dan Shaquin, and Rob Harris. And it's for folks like them and others in this room that we are very grateful for. 
I'm also very, very thankful to the investors, a very important ecosystem partners of ours, clients of ours that we work with, we try to make money with and for, not always. Um, but you're part of our ecosystem, and we can only be acknowledged tonight because of your role. Also, there are so many service providers, accounting firms, law firms. We're so lucky to have Jason Price and David Palumbo uh, of Zeifmans and Baker McKenzie, and Cheryl, you saw, um, toast us from Mince, the new, uh, it, you know, they just came to Canada. There are partners every day throughout the year as we deliver great outcomes for investors and companies. And of course, as Cheryl mentioned, there's our events, which is really the glue that holds together our ecosystem and Bloom Burton's central role in it, the Bloom Burton Healthcare Investor Conference, which is indispensable now to bring thousands of people to Toronto, to Ontario, so that they can meet with companies and deploy capital. The Bloom Burton Award Gala, our black tie event where we celebrate three major contributors each year to our sector and give out a single award. And the holiday party where we all toast, whether it's a, a difficult year or a successful year. I want to send a special thank you to the Bloom Burton team, not just the present team, but everyone that has ever worked for Bloom Burton. Um, we are really accepting this on behalf of our whole firm and what our firm stands for and what our firm delivers for in companies, for investors, for Ontario and for Canada. So thank you so much for the team. My one rule in hiring people is to hire people smarter than me, which is a really easy thing to do. But it's true. Yes. I want to thank also, we can't accept this award without thanking Armin Balboni, who's one of our founding partners. Uh, when you look at our name, Bloom Burton & Co., he's & Co., but, um, but he's not here tonight, uh, but I wanted to acknowledge him. I also couldn't do what I do without the love and support of my family, um, my wife Leah and our five kids. I'm so thankful and so grateful for all their support. and how beautiful and wonderful they are. Unfortunately, none of them could make it tonight, <laughs> which makes this section much shorter. <laughs> Actually, I'm not the only Bloom to win an award today. My daughter, Reagan, she's 16, she's in high school. She won a softball award for most improved, so I'm <laughs> thrilled. Finally, to Jolion, I had to write this one down. I love and respect you so much as a business partner and as a friend. I couldn't find a better person or partner given that your greatest gifts are my biggest blind spots. You are so thoughtful, generous, patient, collaborative, and special. And I love you. In many ways, it reminds me, we're like the two women in that movie, Beaches. <laughs> Obviously, I'm Bette Midler. <laughs> and you're the other one who dies. It's uh, such an honor to win the Community Service Award uh, from Life Sciences Ontario. We are deeply, deeply grateful for that kind of recognition because it's how we view the world. The lens of community, this ecosystem, the original meaning of the word community goes back to around circa 1400, either medieval Latin or the French word communite or communitas for Latin com with and or common, as we kind of know in the English word, together, common, ownership. Uh, and then you've got unity, so with togetherness. And Life Sciences Ontario and our science ecosystem is absolutely about with togetherness, with unity. And very importantly, I want to make the distinction about unity not being that we're the same. It's in fact, with purpose, we're the same. 
but the diversity in our sector is amazing. The minds, the kinds of perseverance, the, um, even the talk from Wanda tonight and her award just tells us what our sector can do and the kind of original impact investing that people like to talk about today. Brian and I always talk about the original impact investing is healthcare. How can you make society better? We're not talking about just an outcome on the pharmacoeconomic perspective. We're talking about quality of life and real things that mean things to people on the day to day. We have deep love for people and we have that as a passion at our firm and we are incredibly lucky. And when Brian called out some of our luminaries that are at our tables tonight, these are the minds that shaped us, challenged us, made us think about things differently and you have a rich life when you get to interact every day with bright, persevering, championing, challenging, intellectually curious, innovative, breakthrough thinking kinds of people. And that doesn't mean strictly scientific. It means all of us in the whole ecosystem. For that, we are incredibly grateful. The team that we have at our firm represents that as well. And I would be remiss if I didn't highlight that Brian drives a vision and ambition and dream that was heretofore before my knowledge not possible and it's a whole lot easier to make something come true when someone's out there leading the way with vision and for that I'm deeply grateful and I echo all the thoughts he said but most importantly I want to thank Life Sciences Ontario for all that you are. You are community, that's how we see you and this is a reflection of all you do as well. We want to share this with our team at Bloom Burton and Co. And we're very grateful for all that you do. Thank you so much for this recognition.